there's a certain um, um, sort of um, silent consciousness about or what it means to be American that I sense coming from uh, white folks that, that I'd like to talk about. Be before I do that, I'd like to say one more thing that's hard about talking about racism, and that is that uh, you know people of color are spilling their guts and uh, doing education uh, to white people. Let me explain to you how you've got this wrong. Let me explain to you how you've got that wrong. Let me explain. And then we get cross-examined, and it's like, well, maybe your problem is blah, 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 blah. And it's always, you know, racism gets looked at as a person of color's problem, and it's not. You know, we're like on the receiving end of the problem, but we are not the problem. You know, I, 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 I walk in a world where, uh, or, where black people, where Latinos, where Asians, where Arabs, all these different people are, 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 are experienced as problem people. And that, well, we're going to deal with the, 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 the person of color problem when, in fact, uh, racism is essentially a white problem. And that for you to understand what racism is about, you're going to be so uncomfortable. You're going to be so different from who you see yourself to be now that, uh, it, you know, there's just no way for you to get it from where you're sitting. And I'm not saying that you could never get it. I mean that, uh, that you need to uh, step outside of your skin and step outside of what uh, seems really comfortable and familiar to you and launch out into some real, for you, unknown territory. And you haven't gone out there like you haven't, uh, you know, gotten in proximity to uh, black people, as you say, because you don't have to. And that's part of what it means to be American to me, is to, ha uh, to have all these things that you can do if you want to, that you don't have to do if you, don't want, uh, if you don't want to do. And there's a way in which American and white and human become synonyms. That why can't we just treat each other as uh, human beings? To me, when I hear it from a white person, it means why can't we all just pretend to be white people? I'll pretend you're a white person, and then you can pretend to be white. Why don't you eat what I eat? Why don't you drink what I drink? Why don't you think like Save I think? Myself. Why don't you feel like I feel? God damn it, I'm so sick and goddamn tired of hearing about that. I'm sick of that. That's what it means to be human being to me. That's what it means to be white. That's what it means to be American. Why don't you come the hell over here? That's what I hear every goddamn day. And you know that I can't come over there. You know that this skin and that this hair and that this way that I talk and that I think and I feel will never, ever get included because I'm unpalatable to this goddamn nation. I'm unpalatable. You cannot swallow me. You cannot taste me. You cannot feel me because you don't want to. You think that you can survive without me, but you can't, man. You think, and you think that, hey, it'll all be fine when we just treat each other like human beings. And what that says to me is, don't be yourself. Be like me. Keep me comfortable. Connect where I'm ready to connect. Come out to my place. Or maybe I'll come down and get some artifacts from your place. Uh-uh. That is bullshit. When you say that your ethnicity is American, there is no American ethnicity. You had to throw away your ethnicity to become American. That's what it means. That's what it means. You give up who you are to become American. And you can pretend that it's OK because you're white. When we give up who we are to become American, we know that we're dying from it. You're dying from it too, but you don't know it necessarily. Get ethnic, you know? You know, I'm not going to trust you until you're as willing to be changed and affected by my experience and transformed by my experience as I am every day by yours. I attended a school for the first time that was predominantly white, and I had white teachers. And I walked into the classroom, and there were three reading groups in my fifth grade classroom, and I was promptly put into the lowest reading group. And I gathered very quickly that that was because uh, I'm of African and American descent. And then they put me into the intermediate reading group, and then they put me into the highest reading group. And you know, I just boiled and churned through the whole process because uh, my reading level was higher than anything they had in the classroom. I'm always dealing with you. 
I'm always dealing with you. You don't deal with him, you don't deal with me. Maybe you had an opportunity to, to deal with some Latino people, but we always deal with you, baby. Always. Every day. <laughs>